इस समय आपको क्रमवत तरीके से समझ में आ गया होगा पहले पोर्चुगीज हैं उसके बाद डच हैं उसके बाद ब्रिटिश हैं उसके बाद डेनमार्क हैं उसके बाद फ्रेंच ट्रेडर्स हैं अब आएंगे फ्रेंच ट्रेडर्स पे ठीक है फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज स्टैब्लिश बाय अ ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर नोन एज कॉलबर्ट ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर नोन एज कॉलबर्ट क्लियर एंड ये कंपनी जो बनती है इट वॉज नॉट एन इजी कंपनी लाइक ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग वॉज अ प्योर गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर्ड कंपनी इस पॉइंट को याद रखेंगे कि फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी और फ्रांसीसी ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी एक सरकारी कंपनी के तौर पर स्थापित की जाती है और ना कि ब्रिटिश इंडिया कंपनी जो पूर्ण रूप से एक निजी कंपनी होती है अब फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी के निर्माण के साथ ही जब फ्रेंच व्यापारी भारत आते हैं तो फ्रेंच ट्रेडर्स ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड टू स्टैब्लिश फैक्ट्रीज दे ऑल्सो स्टैब्लिश द फर्स्ट फैक्ट्री एट मासुली पटनम इन 1664 they also established the first factory at masuli patnam in 1664 followed by their second factory at surat इन 1668 ऑन द सेम लाइंस ऑफ ब्रिटिश आप याद रख सकते हैं इसे जिस प्रकार से ब्रिटिश ने पहली फैक्ट्री मासूली पत्ने में बनाई उसी प्रकार से फ्रांसिस इंडिया कंपनी ने भी अपनी पहली फैक्ट्री यहां पर सूरत में बना फ्रांस मासूली पटने में बनाई और उसके बाद उन्होंने दूसरी फैक्ट्री का निर्माण सूरत में किया सूरत में क्या क्लियर ओके आल हैव अ मिक्स ऑफ हिंदी इंग्लिश डोंट वारी अबाउट इट क्लियर ओके सो सूरत में द सेकंड फैक्ट्री वॉज स्टैब्लिश एट सूरत नो जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन फ्रांस स्टार्टेड टू ट्रेड इन इंडिया ब्रिटिश एंड फ्रेंच ट्रेडर्स केम एट लॉगर हेड्स अगेंस्ट ईच अदर द रीजन वॉज दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ब्रिटेन एंड फ्रांस वर arc rivals in european politics since britain and france were arc rivals in european politics their rivalry got indicated in india also clear so whenever britain and france began to fight among themselves in europe the two respective companies began to fight in india also and that resulted to three important wars between the two trading companies and these wars are known as anglo french struggle since these wars were fought in the southern province of karnataka in modern history we call those wars as कर्नाटिक वॉर्स एज वेल सो ये जो युद्ध हुए थे ये दक्षिण भारत के कर्नाटिक में हुए थे इस वजह से इसे हिंदी में अब से कर्नाटिक युद्ध के नाम से भी जाना जाता है इसे आंग्ल फ्रांसीसी युद्ध के नाम से भी जाना जाता है और ये खासकर तब शुरू होते हैं जब ब्रिटेन और फ्रांस के बीच में युद्ध का प्रारंभ यूरोप में होता है सो वेन एवर द टू कंट्रीज बिगैन टू फाइट इन यूरोप द टू रेस्पेक्टिव कंपनीज बिगैन टू फाइट इन इंडिया लीडिंग टू three major wars known as the carnatic wars you get questions from carnatic wars we'll look into the carnatic wars first clear understand about the carnatic wars clear so now we'll move on to another topic of modern history that is the carnatic wars also known as the three anglo french wars carnatic wars clear now first of all beginning of this wars clear see the first carnatic war or the anglo french war started purely as a european phenomena why european phenomena britain and france began to fight against each other in europe clear and they began to fight against each other, each other in europe in 1740 and uh, due to austrian war of succession so two major european powers began to fight against each other in the austrian war of succession succession this which started in the year 1740 clear as after some time when this war started to take place in europe the two respective companies also began to fight in india and these two respective companies began to fight from 1746 leading to the first carnatic war 
So the first Carnatic War started in 1746 and continued till 40, 1748. Clear? So first Carnatic War was not because of Indian condition. It was because of European conditions. European condition. Clear? Okay, I'll speak sometimes Hindi, don't worry about it, but I'll explain everything in English only, don't worry about it, clear? So, try to just understand English, I'll just repeat them in Hindi, I will not explain that in Hindi, don't worry about it, clear? So, <coughs> I'll be bilingual, but I'll be having 80 to 90 percent English, 10 to 15 percent English, Hindi, don't worry about it, clear? So, most of the session will be in English only, is it fine, clear? So, <coughs> First Carnatic War, clear? Right, this war, right, just understand, this war continued in India almost for two years and the war came to an end in Europe by the Treaty of Exla Chapel. Treaty of Exla Chapel. And just with this treaty, when Britain and France stopped fighting in Europe, the two companies in India also stopped fighting in this country. Clear? So, first the Carnatic War was neither started because of India nor ended because of Indian condition. It was just the manifestation of European phenomena. Clear? However, the second Carnatic War was started in India due to conditions within Indian territory. So, this is the only Carnatic War which was forced because of conditions within India. This war continued from 1748 to 1754. Clear? So, we'll look into this war 1748 to 1754. Now, what was this war? Clear? At this time when this war took place, French East India Company was under the command of a great officer known as Lord Duplex. Clear? He was a great officer, a great diplomat and understood the scenario very well. Clear? Lord Duplex started to assert French supremacy in India and in 1748 what he did was, clear? in 1748 the ruler of a large province in South India, Hyderabad died. This ruler was Muhammad Kuli Kutub Shah. In fact, he was the he, he, the person was Nizam ul Mulk Asafja. Nizam ul Mulk Asafja was the founder of Hyderabad in 1724 and he died in 1748. After the death of Nizam ul Mulk Asafja, dispute began among his son and grandson known as Muzaffar Jang and Nasser Jang. Duplex decided to support the claim of Nasser Jang for the throne of Hyderabad. At the same time, within Hyderabad, there was a large province of Karnataka, clear, where the battle was being fought. In Karnataka, also the rule of Karnataka, Dost Ali died. And when the rule of Karnataka, Dost Ali died, there also conflict took place among two members of the family, Nawab Anwaruddin and Chanda Sahib. Clear? In this politically volatile situation, Duplex decided to support the claim of Nasir Jang for the throne of Hyderabad and Chanda Sahib for the throne of Karnataka. He succeeded in this scheme completely and Duplex was able to place Chanda Sahib on Karnataka throne and at the same time Nasir Jang on the throne of Hyderabad. This led to huge victory for, for Duplex. After some time, Nasir Jang died and Therefore, the deputy of Lord Duplex, known as Bussi, he placed another person on the throne of Hyderabad, and this person was known as Salabat Jung. And when Salabat Jung came to power, Salabat Jung gave some important areas to French East India Company. These areas were Mustafa Nagar, Ellor, Raja Mundri, and Shikakol. All these areas combined together is known as Northern Sarkar. Clear? So, the large region of Northern Sarkar comprising of four regions of Mustafa Nagar, Ellor, Raja Mundri, and Shikakol were given to the French. Clear? Duplex was at the height of his popularity at this time because he acquired large areas in Hyderabad and he had control even over Karnatik as well. Clear? But all these developments were being closed monitored by British East India Company. They were the arch rivals of French and on behalf of British India Company, the governor at this time
time, British governor at this time was the governor was basically Robert Clive. Clear? Since he was the Clive and he was equally very powerful, very diplomatic in nature, Robert Clive was watching all these developments and to challenge French supremacy, Robert Clive with large military force attacked the fort of Karnatic. He attacked the fort of Karnatic at Trichinapoloi. Fort at Trichinapoloi, clear? And then after taking the fort of Trichinapoloi, he acquired control over Karnatic region. As soon as British, British established control over the Karnatic region, war started between French and British East India Company, leading to the Second Carnatic War in 1748. This war went on for six years, from 48 to 54. Finally, British French East India Company, which was a government-sponsored company, French government at Paris took a decision that they cannot continue with this war. Rather, they decided to end this war. In order to end this war, they began to negotiate with Britain and ultimately Britain and France concluded a treaty and this treaty is known as Treaty of Pondicherry. Clear? As per Treaty of Pondicherry, clear, it was decided to end this war and British demanded one thing that Robert Clive, that Lord Duplex should be recalled back to France because they knew till the time Lord Duplex is there in India, French position will always be very strong in India. And as per this treaty, Lord Duplex was recalled back to France and Lord Duplex was replaced by another officer known as Godhue, who was not at all as powerful as Lord Duplex. In fact, it is accepted, clear, that Lord Duplex, clear, it, it is accepted that Lord Duplex was, with the part of Lord Duplex, the French fortune got highly compromised at this time. Clear? This development took place and second Carnatic War because was because of local conditions in India. So, first Carnatic War because of European phenomena, second Carnatic War because of conditions in India, now coming to the third Carnatic War. Clear? Britain and France were arch rivals in Europe and Britain and France again began to fight in Europe and this time Britain and France began to fight in Europe from 1756 and this war continued for seven years which is known as the Seven Years War known as the Seven Years War, which went for seven years from 1756 to 1763. As soon as the Seven Years War started, clear, the two respective companies in India also began to fight. And when these two respective companies began to fight in India, by this time, Robert Clive was well prepared. And British East India Company defeated the French forces decisively in the Battle of Wandiwash. This battle was fought in 1760. Clear? So, in the Battle of Wandiwash, French forces were thoroughly defeated. But the war did not come to an end because still Britain and France were fighting in European continent. Clear? Finally, the Europe, Britain and France ended the war in 1763 by signing the Treaty of Paris, clear? And under the provisions of the Treaty of Paris, British and French East India Company also started to end this war, clear? And the war came to an end in 1763. As per the terms of the Treaty of Paris, French East India Company was asked to stop all trading activities with India, but French were allowed to retain their political control over certain pockets of Indian territory. French were allowed to establish their control over regions of Chandar Nagar in Bengal. French were allowed to establish their control over Pondicherry, Yanam and Karaikal on the eastern coast of India and Mahe on the western coast of India. So even though France was prohibited to have trade relationship with India, but French East India Company was allowed to have political control over Chandar Nagar in Bengal, Pondicherry, Yanam, Karaikal on the eastern coast and Mahe on the western coast of India. This marked the complete European monopoly of British over Indian trade as even the arch rival French had been defeated due to three Carnatic Wars. So even third Carnatic War was because of pure European phenomena. Just to revise, first Carnatic War and the third Carnatic War are because of European phenomena. The second Carnatic War was because of conditions within India, especially after the death of the rulers of Hyderabad and Carnatic.
clear this is the third carnatic war all informations to be there the most decisive being battle of wandy wash fought in 1760 the war came to end with treaty of paris i'll revise clear repeat first carnatic war coming through the treaty end to the treaty of exla chapel दूसरा द्वितीय कर्नाटक वार का अंत होता है ट्रीटी ऑफ पॉन्डिचेरी के द्वारा 1754 में इसके बाद ही लॉर्ड डुप्लिक्स को वापस बुला लिया जाता है और उनके स्थान पर गॉडियो को गवर्नर बनाया जाता है इसके साथ देखेंगे कि थर्ड कर्नाटक वार का प्रारंभ फिर से यूरोप के कारण होता है जहां यूरोप में ब्रिटेन फ्रांस के बीच में युद्ध होता है जिसे सात वर्षीय युद्ध सेवन ईयर्स वॉर कहा जाता है इस युद्ध के दौरान ही फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी पूर्ण रूप से बॉन्डी वाश के युद्ध में पराजित हो जाती है हालांकि यह युद्ध औपचारिक रूप से 1763 में समाप्त किया जाता है पेरिस की संधि के द्वारा और पेरिस की संधि के द्वारा यह निर्णय लिया जाता है कि अब यहां पर से फ्रांसिस ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी भारत के साथ व्यापार नहीं करेगी परंतु फ्रांसिस इंडिया कंपनी को यह अधिकार दिया जाता है कि कुछ क्षेत्रों पर उनका अधिकार स्थापित रहेगा राजनीतिक तौर पर यह स्थान थे बंगाल के चंद्रनगर में इसके अलावा पौंडीचेरी यनम और करेकल भारत के पूर्वी क्षेत्र में और माहे भारत के पश्चिमी तट पर यह निर्णय लिया जाता है पेरिस की संधि के द्वारा और इसी में समझेंगे यहां पर यह जो क्षेत्र छोड़ दिए जाते हैं फ्रांसिस ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी के अंतर्गत यह क्षेत्र थे चंद्रनगर यह क्षेत्र थे चंद्रनगर क्लियर इसके अलावा पौंडीचेरी यनम कराइकल एंड माहे ठीक है यहां पर समझ लीजिए चंद्रनगर को बंगाल प्रांत में सम्मिलित कर दिया जाता है और ये तीन क्षेत्र थे ईस्टर्न कोस्ट पे और माहे केवल ये क्षेत्र है वेस्टर्न कोस्ट पे क्लियर और इन चारों क्षेत्रों को मिलाकर बाद में बॉन्ड यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ पॉन्डिचरी बनाया जाता है जिसे अभी हम पोडिचरी कहते हैं सो यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ पॉडिचरी इंक्लूड्स पॉन्डिचरी यनम कराइकल एंड माहे क्लियर दिस वॉज अंड आफ्टर ट्रीटी ऑफ पैरिस साइंड इन सेवनटीन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री क्लियर रिलेटेड टू फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी थ्री कर्नाटिक वॉर्स क्लियर या आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग ओनली इन हिंदी क्लास विल बी इन इंग्लिश ओनली डोंट वारी इज इट फाइन Okay, for Malda town, great. Okay, fine. Vishal is there. Okay, fine. Clear. So, all these were related to French. Now, coming to at the same time, British India Company. After defeating French, British East India Company retained its control over large parts of Indian territory, established its European monopoly over India. Agar, now it is very clear all the uh, companies and the rivals in India. So first is Portuguese, then Dutch, then British, then Danes, then French. Is it fine? Uh, arrival of European companies. Three Carnatic Wars has been done. Now after this, just understand. Meanwhile.